is the future for uh, Vilasa in India, sir? Like you already stated that, but this is the formal. Like yeah. you like, you like to say yeah. something about this, sir? Your future of uh, uh, Vilasa in India is very simple. Let me just tell you the Indi India or the world. I'll talk in terms of market. Do you think the world is going against electronics or is it going in favor of electronics? Sir, everything is going through our favor of electronics. We favor are of consumer. electronics, man. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Whether it is an electronic uh, home 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 appliance or whether it is a uh, rocket or whether it is a vehicle, most electronic students feel that electronics has no future. They feel that, you know, coding, computer science, artificial intelligence. Come on, where will you implement that artificial intelligence? On a chip. Software and coding is the invisible part. The visible part is a chip. Without the body, what will the soul do? Software is a soul. Body is the hardware. So India has a bright future for VLSA because a lot of applications are coming wherein they need they need chips. So if you watch out uh, the market in terms of you know in terms of uh, value, US market is valued at 430 billion dollars. 430. Just remember the number 430. The Indian That's market true. is just around roughly, roughly around 17 billion. Compare the 430 and look at the Indian 17. That's very See high the potential high of growth. Yes, sir. It's really, really. And look at the potential of growth now. Look at the growth market of US. It's only 8.8% .8 growth rate. CAGR means growth rate. GR means growth rate. So the market is growing at 8.8, .8, which means by another seven years, maybe in 2029, it will double. The market will become double in another seven or eight years. But if you look at the Indian market, whose growth rate is 27%, that means Indian market is surely going to double within just three years, hardly, or maybe four years. That's where the Indian market is very, very competitive, a high very rapidly us. growing. A lot of potential, a lot of potential. Whatever you want to implement, you've got to ultimately implement with the chip. And that market is growing, obviously. Because every modern technology that you talk of needs an ICO chip. Yes, sir. IoT, robotics, everything is boosting the integration of, uh, you know, it's boosting the VLS industry. Moreover, IoT and robotics and artificial intelligence are becoming almost the same. Uh, a car is becoming smart. A phone has already become smart. Home automation is becoming smart. Everything needs a chip. So okay. future is bright. Absolutely bright. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, now we're coming to the reality of the students, like the aspirants wants to go into the industry, sir. Sir, and uh, what is our procedure like? Like what they have to do on the ground basis? Like you, like in terms of uh, vlog, I asked you, sir, you tell about the behavior description. Yeah. Now, if we, uh, if we talk about the uh, talk about the structural or the physical design, so what are the key steps that, that need to be taken for by the students? So to get into the industry. students uh, will always have this doubt, uh, how do we enter in, into this industry? One of the easiest ways of entering into this industry is having a proper qualification in terms of an MTech or an MS through GATE, which is giving you a foundation for your life. So have an MTech or MS, preferably from IITs and NITs, where there are projects happening. Don't do your MTech from a formal college where, you know, just go home and go there and... Uh, Come back in the evening. Your college should be having some sort of a projects happening. That, that's where IITs are always superior. The design, the R&D that happens is awesome, awesome. So go for GATE, go for your MTech. That's one of the easiest channels with competition at the minimum for GATE now. You know, I think go, GATE is now where everybody's availability. Because from 1 lakh students, the number of people writing GATE has come down to 50,000. Yes, sir. And this year in electronics, I'm expecting only 40,000 or 30,000 students to write it, which is half that of two years back. And remember, number of vacancies are not being reduced. So you have a very good chance of, you know, entering into IITs. So go for that. Yes, sir. The other way is going for some internship. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Going for internships, go for some industries, go for some, you know, private uh, PG diploma courses. Very short Easy method of six months. You don't need one year of coaching, two years of MTech. I call them as fast track career courses. 
So go for a fast track career course in a PG diploma course in a VLSI. It will surely boost your skills and placement assistance will be there. That's going to be really helpful. And another, let me just tell you good news is many colleges are coming with BTEC with VLSI specialization of which IIIT Delhi is the first to do it. Of course, private universities have done it, no doubt. So IIIT Delhi is coming with BTEC in electronics with VLSA specialization, just like computer science now. Computer science specializations have come up, AML, data yes, sciences. Sir. Yes, sir. That's exactly what's going to happen with electronics also, which is a very great boost to it. So even uh, VIT AP, my own uh, state, Andhra Pradesh, where you know, uh, hardly 400 kilometers from here, we got this VAT AP. We got BTEC EC with specialization in VLSI. So these are all the things students that really give a boost for, uh, you know, these are all the things that give a boost for uh, VLSI and its importance. So I just wanted to speak about VLSI because my love for electronics will never die out. And VLSI is the latest, uh, you know, huge, uh, hottest thing in uh, electronics now. So just yeah. wanted to speak about it. Sir. Sir, like I said, more than you know, two to three years.